Welcome back. We are here on e looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, March 25th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're welcome to follow us here on e where you can follow our trades and even copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have gotten really close to the 200 moving average and we're still rallying. So we haven't seen a pullback yet. We are really close. And if we manage to break above the 200 moving average, then we could go significantly higher here. And that will basically change a lot of things in the market. Indices, stocks will most likely fall. Commodities prices, uh, commodities prices will continue to be pressured to the downside. And yes, that could uh, basically change everything. We have been in this massive downtrend for the basically for an entire year and it looks like we are basically changing that direction now if we basically break down from here then we will most likely find major support at the 20 exponential right here at the 91.62 technical indicators otherwise are very bullish at this current stage so it's going to be interesting to see if we get a green candlestick above the 200 moving average then it will basically become supportive and not resistant as it is at this current stage so let's look at oil. So oil had a massive rally today above 6%. We fell yesterday uh, roughly 6-7% uh, and then we rallied today basically, well, over 6%. We are underneath the 50, uh, 20 exponential moving average and we were opening now in the negative. Taking indicators, they are either flat or bearish at this current stage. MACD is nearly getting close to do that to um the zero mark mark here which it will basically become a downtrend if we manage to break below the 50 moving average again we could see this go significantly lower so of course there is was major news today where basically an oil where there is a ship basically blocking the suez canal and of course that will have a major impact on oil and therefore you see this massive spike here that will not last forever and it's not it's not going to be stuck there forever so it's probably just um event that happened today and um and we'll basically go back into this downtrend when that news is basically gone so any bad news in the middle east will have a, a a bearish effect on oil if you look at the fibonacci retracement for oil we could see this drop towards uh, give or take 50 dollars uh, then we can drop towards the 50 fibonacci retracement at the 51 dollars and then we have the 200 moving average and the 61.8 fibonacci retracement at give or take 47 dollars so this could drop significantly lower if this trend continues taking indicators they are not looking really good for oil at this current stage so let's look at natural gas so natural gas continues to well test the 200 moving average we are most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 moving average in the next few trading days and that will basically make this go significantly lower we are still hanging on to the 200 moving average. We're trading at 2.529. Rallies up towards the 20 exponential have all been sold into. We can see it here and here and also nearly here. So we are basically, the trend is to the downside. Technical indicators, they are looking more and more bearish at this point. So a break of the 200 moving average could make this market go significantly lower. So how low we we'll can look at the long Fibonacci retracement here. We can see that we ran into this resistant right here at the 50, where we rallied only a few trading days ago. If we break below the 50, we could drop all the way down to 2.2, which also was where we tested it right over here. Break below this, well, then we can go down all the way down to 2 and all the way down to this very bottom here at 1.5. So it is to be seen. We are how that will probably take a fairly long time, but that is most likely where this is heading to in the long run. So let's look at copper. So copper continues to uh, decline here. We have this really nasty candlestick uh, 
basically here on basically the day session. So we opened here as well at the negative. Uh, we rallied above the 20 exponential and then broke down significantly now trading underneath the 20 exponential. If we break below these previous lows, we can go all the way down to the 50 at the 3.88. Break below the 50, well, that could basically be a complete tidal wave to the downside. We can look at the long Fibonacci retracement for this. And we can see that we could drop all the way down to give or take at 3.5 or 3.4, where we also find the 200 moving average. If we break the 200 moving average, we can go to 2.1 and then also 2.2. Eight. Well, that is far, far away where we are at the moment. The 50 moving average has been a major support in the past. We can see it right here and here and here. Also here where we have this massive rally. So we're not even close to the 50 moving average yet. And um, giving historical uh, price action for, for copper, 50 moving average has been major support. So it'll be interesting to have to see what happens when we get to the 50 moving average. So let's look at gold. So gold has rallied a little bit. We're still sticking around here at the 20 exponential. We did break down quite um, badly here, but we didn't. We still are holding on to 1723. That is basically where these lows are. So at the moment we're rallying back up towards the 20 exponential. Technically, they are. Fairly turned around, CCI is becoming bullish, RSI is flat, Stochastic is bearish, and the MACD is becoming bullish. But we need to break the 20 exponential in order to get to the 50, and at the moment, the 20 exponential is acting as major resistant. Breakdown from here could lead us all the way to the bottom at 1681. So let's look at silver. So silver is hanging around here at $25, uh, just above the 20, 200 moving average. Technically, they are either bearish or flat at this current stage. So yes, we will, it's going to be it's very uh, difficult to say basically where we're going. 20 exponential is acting as resistant. 200 moving average and the $50, $25 range is acting as support. And we're just sticking around here. If we break below the 200 moving average, then we can see this drop significantly lower. We can look at the long Fibonacci retracement all the way down here at the bottom. We can drop first down towards the $23, then to $21, and then give or take $18 and in the long run. Rallies above the 20 and the 50 could open the door to 20, 27, and then to 28, and then to $30. So let's look at platinum. So platinum is also just uh, hanging around here at uh, 20 and 50 moving average. This is a really nasty candlestick right here. So if we open up uh, below the 50 moving average, we could just these, test these previous lows here at 1115 and then 1100. And after that, all the way down to uh, one, uh, 1000. So at this current stage, it looks like we are going to see a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50. And we haven't seen that crossing since all the way back here. Yeah, that is basically in November last year. So when we can basically started this a bull run to the upside. So it doesn't look really good for, for platinum at this current stage. Technical leaders are also very bearish, all of them. So if we have this crossing here, we could see a trend reversal, basically meaning that we will have a lower low and lower low than this one and where we'll see this go significantly lower towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at pallium. So pallium had this massive rally toward the upside. We broke down towards the previous highs here at 2.5 and then we rallied. So we are, yes, we are going higher. This is probably as low as this would go. This is where basically just above where we we used to rally to at 2.5. So we did, it's a little bit higher than that. So so at this current stage, it is fairly bullish. Technical indicators like the MACD are very bullish. That stochastic is also very bullish. CCI is flat and RSI is flat. So it may well be that we'll just trade sideways from here until we get to close to the 20 exponential and then rally towards these previous highs of 2.7. Break below the 
20 exponential, well, that opens the door all the way down to the 50 at 2.3. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium also gapped higher. So we broke towards the 20 exponential, and this basically is, is nearly hopeless to trade this at this current. It's gapping up, gapping down, and so on. The only real reference here is that when we get close to the 20 exponential, it rallies significantly to the upside. Even getting close to the 20 exponential, it basically gaps and rallies to the upside. Technically, they are basically all over the place, so they're not not a lot of help at this current stage. But it is basically the 20 exponential, which is uh, where this is tradable. Otherwise, I would stay far away from this. So let's look at nickel. So nickel rallied towards the 20 exponential, broke down significantly, and now we're right back where we basically started. Technically, they are slowly turning around to the upside, um, mainly due to this rally, but uh, at this current stage, we're not going to see, probably not going to see any major moves to the downside below the 200 moving average or above the 20 until we get a crossing of these two moving averages here. So it is just a waiting game to basically see whether or not this rallies to the upside or breaks down significantly uh, in the coming days. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has finally found the floor here at 0 0.15 and now it's continued to rally. So whether or not this means that we are going back to the very highs, probably not. It probably just means that we're going to rally towards the 20 exponential at 0 0.1599 and then break lower. So 0 0.15 was basically the floor here. Technically, they are slowly turning around like the stochastic is becoming bullish. CCI is still in the bearish territory, but it is turning around um, and the RSI is flat and the MACD is bearish at this point. So until we test the 20 exponential and um, see whether or not we are going to break down from there, it's, uh, well, it's not possible to basically say whether or not we are reversing here and now we're going to continue this rally. So let's look at cotton. So cotton continues to drop. Target here is 0 0.8. If that breaks, then we can go significantly lower in this market. And we can look at the very long Fibonacci retracement here. And we can see that the first Fibonacci retracement is at 0 0.77. And then the 50 is right here at the 200 moving average at 0 0.71. And then after that, all the way down to 0 0.66. So 0 0.8 will most likely offer quite a lot of of support. If that breaks, then we have the first Fibonacci retracement here, which most likely also will offer significant support. The 50 will definitely where it offer massive amount of support, as it's also where the 200 moving average is at this current stage. We are looking like we're going to have a crossing at the 20 and the 50 moving average, and that will also increase the bearishness of this move to the downside. Technical indicators are looking very bearish. Will there still a lot of room to the downside in the RSI? So let's look at cocoa. So cocoa also has dropped significantly lower uh, below the 200 moving average and is heading towards these previous lows here at 2.366. If this breaks, then we're heading towards the uh, 2.236 uh, 2 and then well beyond that. So we have been trading basically to the upside resistant levels have been 2.8 2.7 2.6 those are the major resistance levels to the upside to the downside it has been support levels at 2.37 then we have had the 2.235 and then all the way down here at 2.090 technical indicators are very bearish at this current stage momentum is to the downside first major support level is down here if that breaks, then we're going significantly lower. So let's look at wheat. So wheat continues to go lower. We are testing these previous lows here. If this breaks, then we can go all the way down to 600 and then the 200 moving average. 
rallies up towards the fifth, uh, 20 exponential. We can see it here, here, and here have all been sold into, and uh, that will most likely happen if we continue another rally today or in the next few trading days. It looks like we are slowly grinding towards 600 and the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point. So at this current stage, well, this is just going lower and lower. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow us here on eToro. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.